welcome to Millennials Talk That Ish. As y'all know, I am Monet. And I'm Nia. And today we're going to be talking about social media addiction. Mm -hmm. Um, we had got shut down for like, I want to say about three to five hours, and y'all went crazy. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I can't say I don't know. I mean, we know. We know why. Yeah, I can't say I don't know because at one point I felt like I was addicted to social media. Right. Have you ever been? Nah. You've always been the type to like... Yeah, but I mean, a lot of times I don't even know what my phone is, so... Who's that? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't do that. I need my phone. <laughs> I mean, I always lose it in the house, well, except for when we was in New Orleans. I kept leaving it at every ball we was at. I don't know what the fuck was going on. That's a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just kept leaving it everywhere. I even left one in the cab. Like, in the Uber. He actually brought it back to me. You was that fucking drunk, Nia? I wasn't, though. I don't know. I just kept leaving it. I, like, I didn't want it. I don't know. <laughs> Did you not want it? Because that people do that. I don't know. When they don't want things, they, like, purposely, self-consciously leave it places. Well, I guess I didn't want it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I used to be addicted to social media. I don't feel like I am as much. Mm -hmm. Like, at one point, I couldn't go a day without taking pictures. <laughs> just to oh, post. Yeah. And at one point, it was like video, 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 like every night. But now I don't do it as much. So being that we got shut down like now where it's mm -hmm. like whatever to me, I didn't notice it until my mom brought it up. Okay. My mom, she was like, is your Instagram working? And I went and I checked it. And I was like, oh, no, it's not. Oh, <laughs> get off Instagram. She, be on, she don't like have like an actual like, nothing's on her page. <laughs> of course. Yeah, nothing's on her page. She don't want her picture up there. She just be on to like look at look entertainment here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same thing with TikTok. She has a TikTok just to look. Right. Even though Amir keep putting her picture up. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Amir don't respect nobody wishes <laughs> at all. Amir keep changing the picture on TikTok to her picture and she gets so upset. Oh my God. How do you feel like the people reacted? With this little shutdown that happened. Y'all acted like crackheads. I'm not going to hold y'all. Like, I was like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know this. My boyfriend asked me. He was like, was it, is your Instagram working? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I went on and the same thing was on it from like nine hours ago. I tried mm -hmm. to refresh it. It didn't refresh. I went to Facebook. Facebook was acting stupid too. I was like, oh, <laughs> no, it's not, nothing's working. <laughs> I feel like... If you're not getting paid to be on social media all day, every day, why would you even bug out like that? Because people got a detox. <laughs> people are really addicted to social media. And even like Offset tweeted it. He was like, yo, I just realized I'm addicted to Instagram. <laughs> like the fact that y'all was bugging out like that, mm -hmm. y'all, especially people who don't like have business through social media, that shows you you need to detox. Yeah, because... If you can't, we grew up in the era where we played outside, we played board games, card games, all of that. Mm -hmm. you, you telling me y'all grown ass people couldn't just sit in the house for a few hours? Watch a movie, take a walk. There's so many things you could have did. I'm sure some adult activities y'all needed to do, like clean the bathroom, fold the laundry, it's so wash much. the dishes. I'm sure y'all was ignoring some chores <laughs> and you could have did it during that time of shutdown. Put on some music. But no, instead they writing on a web on a social media app that doesn't work. And it isn't work. working. <laughs> like, What's wrong with y'all? Hmm? And as soon as they got back on, y'all went like Bro. Crazy. My, like I, they made me not want to be on though. Like even the fact some of y'all I seen on Facebook posts how y'all was calling see mobile person them out. Don't say it was a joke. I truly believe y'all. I, I truly believe y'all was calling T-Mobile acting a fucking fool talking about why my internet not working. Some of y'all don't even pay y'all bills. Got the nerve to be calling somebody talking about why your internet not working. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> y'all don't even pay y'all bills. <laughs> uh-uh. Switching Wi-Fi, hacking people's shit. Acting like pure crackheads. Just to see the same shit that you see every day. And the same people that you don't even like. Because honestly, all, especially Facebook, all it is is people putting up the same um, the same jokes constantly. Yeah, for real. And sharing posts. 
Because honestly, there, there's been so many times I see one person write a joke, and then the next person write, write, wrote the same the joke. The same joke. And then I'd be like, y'all couldn't just share it. Nope. They like, had to copy and paste it and post it in place status. For what? Y'all couldn't just share it? That is, it's so much simpler. Just share it. Why are you rewriting a joke? Bro. It's all right to give somebody else the credit for the joke. Whoever the first person wrote it. I don't want to give nobody credit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to give people credit for the simpler shit. That's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Nah, I'm not ever. I don't. I'm not ever gonna be addicted to social media no more. It's like a pleasure thing for people. Give me money, then I will. Right, and that also should show businesses who are on social media. You need to make sure you got an email list, baby. Yes. Because um. <laughs> yes. The fact that social media could shut down your business just that quick, mm-hmm. and you ain't have no backups. No nothing. No website. That is not good. Right. Because a lot of businesses don't have websites. And I'm not going to lie, I don't shop with businesses like that. Um, like, like who, like clothing boutiques or something like that that don't have, like, websites. I don't shop with nobody who don't got a website. I yeah, know, me neither. Unless, you know, it's like a local friend or something. It's like baked goods or some shit like that. It's That's like different. Clothing or hair or shoe. I'm not and they got to be shipped out to me. Yeah, I'm not buying nothing from you, bro, if mm-hmm. you don't got no website. So the fact that social media shut down some of y'all businesses should also have, y'all should also have... A backup plan some kind of backup to get back to your subscribers and stuff like one place I buy my purses from she was like Instagram shut down but not us via Ooh. email and gave us 30% off code Ow. Ooh. What the rest Ow. nothing they didn't know what to do cuz y'all didn't even know how to access your subscribers <laughs> y'all need something whether it's different type of social media no honestly just a website I, that's just what I feel have your own website you need a website you need because a website. any social media app could shut down right with an email list and keep and that's how you keep things updated y'all depend way too heavily on social media yes and I wonder if that also affected those who are influencers and content creators who base who their base is social media Instagram especially mm-hmm. Y'all ain't make no money if social media was shut down. So what is your backup to that? If social media ended today and you are an influencer, what is your backup to that? Yeah. Well, of course, I'm assuming you have money saved because Instagram does pay a lot of you handsomely. Yes, but... But to keep your money flowing, what is your backup to being an influencer or a content creator? Mm -hmm. It's great that social media can make these kinds of jobs but they can also take it away. Yes, fast. Clearly, it showed us. It could take <laughs> it away. So all of your twerking videos, fashion videos, inspirational videos. You know, that's why I like the one, like the ones, the ones who were once influencers and then they went on to like actually become actors. Mm-hmm. Or about content creators, dumb. I, it's like okay, you you did something out of this, right? Because now. Like, what's his name? Melvin Gray. He started off on Vine making videos. Mm-hmm. He's an actor. Right. He's, he was in Snowfall. He was in All American. No, not All American. It's another show on Netflix. He has, he has roles. Right. I feel like when you take it to the next level to make sure that you're always good, then hey. But like right. the ones who just could put, who just put up pictures. Right. It's like, okay, what else? What's your next thing? Because people are not really going to click the link in your bio. That's right. Let's really be. People are not checking your blog, your separate blog of your pictures. Uh, you know, this is not Tumblr. People are not even on Tumblr anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your backup to that? And that also goes to the people who you love that you you can you can you have conversations with on social media. How do you socialize them? If y'all went that crazy because of your entertainment was down. <laughs> What are you gonna do in the stone ages? No. Oh, and, uh, our electricity just all went out, everything went power went out. We're in a total dark age. What are you gonna do? And once again, you would think that we would be cool with it because we grew up in that era, yeah. But it was we everybody going this. crazy, it was grown ass, old ass people going crazy, which I would never understand that. The either ones who are in your neighbor, stay off your phone. No, and they grew you. up without internet. <laughs> Y'all phones was this big, and some of y'all had beepers. I don't even understand why y'all was acting like that. Hmm? It's never that serious. Why was y'all acting like some of y'all 
read a book. Phones was thick as hell and had the antenna you pull up and I don't want Right, to you can didn't even really have like a screen. Why was you acting like no, let's talk about it. But see they said you know they all social media is an addiction. It is. It's not honestly, it's not good. Some of y'all will not be able to last without internet, and that's really not good because God forbid we ever did have to go off the grid. You're telling me you guys are gonna be like, eh, without it. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is a sickness. You have an addiction. I'm not gonna lie, when I was addicted and I went on my first cruise, I was dying. Yeah, I had a lot of people like that. <laughs> I was dying. It was like, excuse me, I don't have what? I don't have internet service for how many days? Yeah. I, I can't I can't do nothing. I can't text somebody. Yeah, no, that was, I'm not gonna lie, it was bad. Right. <laughs> it was bad. Cause I wasn't used to it. Right. We you we get shut down every few months where something's not working. There's no reason y'all reacted like that. Y'all are too old. But that also shows you a lot of us don't live in the moment. We are not making memories for actual fun. You guys are making memories for social media. You know, you know, and I noticed that too. Cause and don't get me wrong, I am one that likes to record stuff when I'm out. Right. But it's a total difference when like I'm actually enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. You won't, you won't get not one video. Bro. And that's how you know I enjoy myself. That's a fact. I be out almost every day now. And, and yeah, you I wouldn't even know. I don't post it. I don't. <laughs> because I'm. She's enjoying herself. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're supposed to do. Just Everything don't moment. have to like. Yeah, if she records it to to keep for her memories, right? That's different. But I like I said, you wouldn't know. She don't post it. Nope. I've taken secret vacations. Came back. Posting my regular inspirational stuff. I don't know what she does. That. And no one knows. Exactly. <laughs> just come back and be the problem. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Bro, especially when I was in college, that was a regular thing for me, just going away to people's countries and then coming back up. Hey, I'm back. I'm just finding this out. It started in college. Yeah, it was a really great time. Like, I didn't know that. I thought it started afterwards. Nah, nah. Especially because, you know, everybody got worries. Oh my God, you're going to get kidnapped if you travel here, if you go here, if you travel by yourself. I'm like, I you were by yourself? Out. Yeah, I've been a bunch of places by myself. Where did you go by yourself? A bunch of places. I've been to Ireland, I've been to Scotland, I've been to Paris by myself. And a bunch of places by myself. I mean, I like my own company, so I'm not waiting on nobody. I wouldn't go nowhere. If I wait on people, I wouldn't go nowhere. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. You find out new things every day. Yeah. Because the fish like to keep them. I'm a very <laughs> private person. I don't tell anything. Don't ask, don't tell. So I see it. Who would? Exactly. So who would ask me that? So why the fuck would I tell it? I'm a private human. I'm very, I'm very private. She is. <laughs> no, no, no. She is. But. I just feel like, you know, what you really need to know for. What do you really need to know for? I'm back safely. I mean, after a while, I got the understanding, all right, you should let someone know. Thank you. Where you're at. Because if you do go missing, no one even knows that you left the fucking country. Right. Like, bitch, we think of you upstate in school. But I also felt like, you know, especially black people, y'all so fucking scary. I just don't have time for the negative energy. No, okay. I do agree like, with that. Because especially you traveling by yourself. I don't want to hear that. That would be like my mom's number one thing. Don't go nowhere by yourself. Yeah, I'm living my best life. Like... I don't want to hear that because what can happen to me over there can happen to me right here. As you can <laughs> say, uh, the man who just chased the lady into her damn apartment the other day in the Bronx. Um, yeah. <laughs> clearly, shit is just happening. Shit is just happening no, everywhere, yeah. every day. So, I mean, something's going to happen to me. God forbid it's going to happen and I really can't stop it. But um, if I'm out the country, at least someone knows I'm here or there. I'm going to check in. When I was in medical, my boyfriend had to make me check in. He made me check in with him every 10 minutes. That's annoying. Why? It's hell. Because he, because I was by myself. I was riding in the car by myself. So I shouldn't fly out the day before. Oh, right. And I fly out the day after. So he was like, you're by yourself. And I, That's annoying. It's annoying. It was annoying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm so used to my independence. So it was just like, eh. Every time. <laughs> 
I'm here, I'm alive. He but I get the point because it's like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to be protected, make sure you're okay. You right. But at the same time, I'm like, bro, I'm like, no, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If the girls don't kidnap me, what are you going to do? And that's not the point. I mean, nothing, you can't do anything. You can, All you're going to do is tell them the last um, location I saw her was here. And by that time, you know, they already got me in a warehouse somewhere and a whole other part of Mexico. So you really can't do anything. I hope he sees this. I mean, I just, you know. Because, bitch, that's not the point. It's I'm to give, good. it's just I'm to good. give the people that you love a peace of mind. Uh, yeah, so it's more for you, not for me. I just don't see the point. It's us make, making sure that you're okay. Nia, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I just found out that she's been to Ireland. Didn't know that. I've been to a lot of places. No, I knew that. Didn't know that was one of the places. I mean, yeah, you just want to explore places sometimes. How was that? It was very boring. <laughs> very nice, though. Very nice. Very nice. I wouldn't go there with, like, a group of friends. It was great for, like, hiking and stuff like that, but other than that. You didn't go by yourself, it was perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. You was like, going to explore the country? Yeah, that's it. It's okay. very gloomy. I don't know in Scotland. It's more gloomy. It gave me depression. Um, I mean, but London, UK is kind of gloomy too. So, But I like the UK. I feel like I feel like that's different. I don't know. I, I never heard anybody, ooh, but let's go to Ireland. So, but... Hey, yeah. let's go like, on I, it. I really like you guys' accent, though. Your accent is really cool. Can you do it? No, I can't. I, <laughs> I wouldn't even play myself. I wouldn't even... Mm, 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 mm. I wanted you to do it. Because mm, 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 mm. she be doing accents, so I want to know how to do it. I can't do that one. I can't do neither one. <laughs> Ireland or, or, or Scotland. I can't. I can't. Mm, I think you got this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> No, but but have really. You, have you ever thought about becoming like a travel blogger? Um, I did at one point, but even when we go back to because she wanted me to be like a fashion something. I don't know what the hell she was talking about. I want her to um do something on TikTok, make videos with like her different outfits because yeah, yeah but they were kind of like doing stuff. I, I don't have to be engaged in social media, and I don't want to do that. No, because I even told her I'll do it. Just send me the videos and I'll post them whenever yeah, she wants me to. I even ha I have to make a video. Like I have to do it. I just don't want to do that. You are. I don't even take pictures when we go out. So I just feel like. <laughs> I'm gonna get her to do one video so y'all can see why I wanted her to do it because this girl can dress her ass off, and her style is so different. And if she was to really like put the work in. She can have an Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and be big with her with her fashion styles. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> she can. I like I wish I could show you like a jacket right now, and, <laughs> and I promise you, she got the perfect shoes to match. If if that like perfect shoes or bag, because that's how she is. So I do think that she can, if she was to put the work in, she can make it big on social media. Yeah, but that's what fashion. So draining. I just don't want to do it. It's so draining, but the girl literally shots all day. So it's like, yeah, cause it's for me. It's not for you guys. And people on social media are mean as shit, and y'all cruel. You and let me tell you, I will fight y'all. I'm not like other social media people who gonna keep it cute, keep it humble, not clap back. Like I will really find out where you live, pull up to your house in Ohio, and beat the shit out of you and your mother, and then go back home on a flight to New York. But you like not happen. So I just feel like I don't even want to engage. You, you have people on social media who clap back. Like I'm super saying, she clap well, back. I don't follow her, so I don't know. Not someone I'm interested in following. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that was beside the point. <laughs> I'll have to say I never seen her really seen her clap back because like, no, I don't follow she her. She do. She do be responding and she'll say she'll say whatever she needs to say. If she needs to block you, she'll block you. Right. So I feel like you will be able to deal with it because what can they really say? Oh, that's ugly. I don't know. People just say whatever come the fuck to their mind. And I saw some it's some blog page I follow. It's talking about Sweetie's hair. She has some bomb ass red hairstyle with like leave out or whatever. The girl gonna say, Oh, but her leave out not blended. And the back of her head 
the back of her head. And the only reason you could see the difference is because her natural hair was like this and the leave out was like this. I said, really? Y'all really picked at that? You really picked at that? It was not that serious. Bro, the hairstyle was gone. You know, and unless you was like zooming in the fucking picture, you could not see. I'm like, what Because you know, people, when it comes to social media, there's a certain standard that you're supposed to, and being famous, period, you're supposed to be perfect at all times. That's how they look at it. Mm-mm. Even though these people are human, like none of us are perfect at all times. We all we come on here looking crazy sometimes. This is my favorite look, homeless. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love to be like this. I love oversized whatever. I do. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm not gonna lie to you. We, my, I have a face card. I feel like I don't have to dress up all the time. Right? Okay. I just, you feel like that too, so I don't know why you're saying okay. I do. So I just feel like I. Ouch! Bitch! I'm, I'm obviously! I'm in fucking. I mean, I sweat leggings and an oversized sweater. This is my favorite kind of look. Homeless. I love college. I was homeless all the time. All the time to the point my other best friend was like, bitch, you gotta wear some clothes. You got mad clothes. I'd rather be homeless. She got mad. Are we gonna exaggerate on the mad clothes? And she rather look homeless. I just appreciate an oversized hoodie and some good sweats and other boots. And when I get my Crocs with the fur, it's fucking over. No, that ass. <laughs> it's fucking over. I'm letting y'all know that now. That fucking ass. over. She already got flavors in Crocs. Bro, it's over. She got flavors over. in Uggs and Crocs. It's over. Because that's how she likes to look. It's over. I, I, I love fall. I love fucking fall. It's hoodie weather. This is when I put on my caps. And I'll be homeless and comfortable, and I could be fat, and nobody. But see, that might be good for social media. That's what I'll be trying to talk about. No, I don't want to. I don't have to post. Not because she consistent. She can start off the video looking like she don't look homeless right now. But she can start off the video looking like this, and then go into a bomb ass outfit. It's a lot of work in the editing and stuff. I'm just not into it. I already told her I got that. So it's a lot of work. Oh man, I got so much work and so much work. But anyway, back to y'all social media. I think <laughs> get the pressure off me now. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was what? what I got to my hand. Shit, no, I guess not bad. What? Right, right. Real women, we homeless most of the time. I'm I ain't kidding. got time. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, I get my hair done and then three days later, I look homeless. It's, it's cool. You should have saw me on that first day. That's what happened. Nia, <laughs> you should have caught me when they got it done, okay? I was just saying. Because after that, after that first day, after that's that, it. the bonnet then came off in the middle of the night. It nah, that's good. a fact. <laughs> Whatever happened. That's how I feel about when I first installed my wigs. You better Yo, catch me the first day. Start. Day, baby. That, that install is beautiful I'm because then after a while, that glue start. To bother, and now I'm lifting it up I on the side. And I was a bomb diggity. I was walking outside with a mental junk. I was like, ew. And then after that, I was like, mmm, I got maintenance. This this is crazy. That's why I'm going to do leave out. Because guess what? Next hairstyle is going to be half up, half down. No leave out. I don't want to maintenance shit. Maintenance hairstyle is going to be braids. And the only reason I don't get braids is because I don't want to take them out. Okay. That's the only reason I don't get braided. This mad bomb braiding style saving mm-hmm. my phone. But I'm like, mm. Because we're having to take it out. I don't know who won't take this shit out. But she take out my half of half down. So. <laughs> this is when I tell y'all the extent of my laziness. Like, after we finish filming, if I have to take my hair out, she takes it out. Like, bro. That's a fact. I am lazy. That was a year just. Lazy, Come on. bro. I'm late. And this pandemic has really made me. <laughs> Bro, I just don't care. Like, you even fuck with me or you don't. Like, <laughs> Nia! <laughs> I just don't like Just accept me for who I am. You know what's crazy? The people who was like, who I feel like was bugging, like, I guess, like on my timeline. Mm-hmm. It's like, y'all don't, they really don't even be doing shit. Nah, that's what on, on, like, social media. You don't really see them post pictures, mm-hmm. videos, and it's just like, so what are you, why are you going crazy? Because they, they not entertained. Like, it's that, that entertainment. No. They need that entertainment. Do you like, know that you can go on YouTube? I didn't get to and, stalk this person today, or I got beef with this girl, or I didn't do this, or I need to no, follow up with this boy. Hold on, let's go. 
Why was the first thing that came out your mouth stalking? Because that's what people do. How many girls have wrote you like, oh, you mess with ah? Mess. <laughs> Did you ask him if he messed with me? Don't I have had. I've had plenty of girls pull yeah. up to my DM or some BS. Or I've had girls just come to my page and like something. You just wanted me to know you there? That you see me? Okay, I see you seeing me. What you want me to do with this information? <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't get it. And that's what they, people was going crazy over? Because so, they couldn't stop somebody? That's I wild. mean, you know, and then let's not act like people don't post all their business on social media. That's a fact. So you entertained by that. I'm not going to hold you. I read all 300 comments. Yes, we do. And I screenshot it and send it to her. Yes, we do. And we talk about y'all. All the time. So, you know, I you guess. Put your business out there. We are especially talking. those who gonna got shit going on. At all. Yes. Whether you work or don't work, if you ain't got shit going on and all you do is scroll all day and you can't scroll and you like, oh my God, I have nothing else in life but social media. I have no personality, no friends. My family barely like me because, oh shit, we don't even talk and we live in the same fucking house. All I got is social media and this one thing is not working. There's so many other things that they could have did because YouTube would be having like um, compilations of um, different TikTok videos right. and stuff. This ain't that deep, y'all. Bro, y'all was going crazy. And that's when everybody was like, oh, I'm addicted. And like, we took it as a joke, like, oh, you addicted. But, that's but no, a, you that's, really that's, are. That's really a problem, though, that you felt like you had to keep checking Instagram every 15, 20 minutes because you like, oh, my God, it's not working yet. It's not working yet. Oh, to the point, call, yeah, yeah, calling T-Mobile or yeah, y'all yeah, cell phone, phone providers. Yeah, to curse them out because you feel like they the one who messed up social media. That is a sickness and that's a problem. That's a fact. Because if you didn't notice, if now if your whole internet was not working, then that's different. Right. But just a few apps? Two apps. And some of y'all got every social media there is. So I don't even know why y'all was really acting like that. You still had Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok left. So what is your problem? On top of them dating apps that y'all go on and just play around on. Right. So what is really the problem? Shit, the owner wasn't even really bugging afterwards. What and he mean? lost like $7 million to say. Yo. I would have been bugging. No, yeah. That would, I don't care how rich I am, seven mil. And he said, so how can I make this money back? Excuse me. Because um, I need my money back. <laughs> That's I, seven million. Bro. I but y'all really got to figure out, like, why y'all so addicted to social media. Mm-hmm. Y'all talk about these damn kids. Yo. <laughs> y'all always want to talk about a kid being on the tablet. Why you think that? So that's what they see you do. But it's an addiction. It is a slight addiction. For some kids, it's a great thing. For some kids, it's not a great thing. Mm-hmm. Just like for some adults, it's a great thing. But now you should really question yourself. If you got a partner saying, oh my God, you always on social media. And you're like, nah, no, I'm not. And you bugged out during that time that it was down. You should probably um mm-hmm. go apologize. Go ahead. Yep. And change that. Yeah, do the walk of shame. You gotta do the walk of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wild out, bro. You wild out. It's all right. It's all right. I'm admit your addiction and go and get some help. Right. Even if you gotta take a few hours off social media during the day, mm-hmm. do that. I do that every night, honestly. Detox. Seriously. Because I'm not gonna lie. So at one point, every night, my thing was just on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Just scrolling. So and now I would like play a game or something. Right. I won't even just stay laying in bed scrolling on TikTok. I'll play a game for a little while. Put some music on. Right. Because that's ridiculous. I'm not about to sit up here. Yeah. I gotta have TikTok. No. You gotta get to know yourself. And that's also probably why a lot of y'all depressed too. Because we go so hard about social media and mm-hmm. the standards of social media. Yes. Especially people in like the millennials and younger mm-hmm. generations. We're like, oh my God, they're so far ahead in life. I should be there. Oh my God, she's younger than me and she's mm-hmm. way more successful. And it's not even jealousy. It's like, oh my God, I'm so fucking behind in life. Yeah. Like, how is she rich and she's 25 and I'm tap dancing on 30 and I'm not even mm-hmm. near rich. I'm poor poverty. Yep. So, at some point, we have to, we have to detox from social media. We have to. And that's my way from I was like, you addicted to social media. And he was like, I feel he he felt like he was addicted. He deactivated his page and was still on the shit. I said, um, Mr. You you're not supposed to write me from 
from the deactivated page. Right. How are you deactivated it? What you writing me? You ain't got no post up, no picture, but you still sending me reels. Why? <laughs> How? You not supposed to be on it. Right. Why are you here, sir? Right. That's what I, every time he would write, send me something. Why are you here? The, yo, I would, I'm like, yo, you're not supposed to be on Instagram. What made him want to um, take a break? Because he felt like he was addicted. So okay. I wake up and I scroll. Like, I'll be talking to you and I'll be scrolling and I'll see a funny video and I'll send it to you. Bro, you're addicted. Yeah, no. The fact that he, how you um, delete posts and shit and still on it, that's. Delete, you deactivated your whole page. So it cleared out your pictures and shit like that. You don't got no main profile picture up. But you're still sending me pictures. I mean, like videos and stuff. That's stupid. I'm addicted. You're addicted. <laughs> that's what you have a problem. Just I told him, like, just reactivate your Instagram, bro. For all that, might as well. Yeah, yeah like, it's, 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 it's cool. And when you're really ready, you'll know you're ready. Right now, you ain't ready. And it's, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. cool. It's cool. It's cool. This, this, this is what you gotta do, bro. It's cool. Like, that's the thing. Y'all got a problem. Y'all gotta address it. Y'all do gotta address it. That shit is dangerous. <laughs> That shit is y'all. Y'all wouldn't make it. A uh, zombie they attack happen right now. What y'all gonna do? Put it on um, put it on Instagram. Put it on Instagram. They gonna try to. Right. That's why you gonna get eaten by the fucking zombie. Like, while you recording it, it's gonna be coming to attack your ass, stupid. I would never. First of all, I already know zombies gonna eat me because I'm not fighting. I'm not. What the fuck you mean you're not fighting? I'm tired. I'm not fucking fighting no fucking zombie, no super strength. I'm not running. I'm not doing all that. Either make me one of y'all or just gun and have it and get it over with. Because I don't have the time to be fighting on zombies and running around like we and um, one of these little zombie apocalypse. What the fuck is she talking about? I am not a fighter when it comes to that. I'm not even going to hold you. Bitch, you better fucking be. Listen, I'll be with, I'll be with y'all in spirit. I don't have fucking time for that shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be trucking it down with a whole bunch of supplies on my. What the fuck I look like? No. Trying to find water. We arguing over the last cough drop. I'm not doing that. I'm not. That don't sound fun to me. And I don't want to be a part of it. So just get it over with. Let the zombie bite me and let's just get the shit over with. And if y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do, just go ahead. Keep me well, in spirit. Just keep me in spirit. I'm not fucking fighting. I'm not gonna lie. You gotta go if you become a zombie. I know. But I'm not gonna be fighting over you. To who gonna get the last a spoiled piece of a milk with the spoon. I'm not fighting with you over that. I'm not. It's not the quality of life, and I'm not doing it. Wait, hold on. I'm okay. gonna eat the last chunky milk. I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Doing it. I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even think if it's a zombie apocalypse, I'm eating chunky milk. I'm not fucking doing that. You gonna have me like Will Smith in the fucking movie talking to the mannequins? Hey, hey good morning. How you doing, Miss Robin? You fine? I'm fine. Oh yeah, you seen Diane? She look good, right? You're, You're not gonna be the last. You see that shit? No, y'all not gonna have me out here looking crazy talking about somebody out there. No, no, no. What, what about the Walking Dead type shit? Yeah, I'm not doing that either because I'm not fighting. No, I'm not doing that. And then people be snaky and they wanna stab him in the back and all that. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So, and then y'all be washing for days. They look way well dirty and Walking Dead. I'm not doing it. I'm not built like that. I'm not built for it. I can survive, but I'm not going to because I don't want to do it. I'm not going back to that life. I was raised in good shit, and I'm going to go out in good shit. Bury me in my chinchilla, bitch. I'm not. Fuck that. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I have nothing to say to this. I'm going to fuck. I don't. <laughs> Bury me in my chinchilla. Make sure I'm in my finest of shit. Okay. So you're the type to basically just... I'm going to give up, and I'm going to sit right here, and if the TV works, I'm going to put the TV on. If it don't, I'll put the radio on. And just watch them come in. And I'm going to just be like, hey, what's up? Don't dirty my fur, though. That's all I got to say. And if they turn me into one of them, that's cool, because I'll be a flyer zombie. I'm going to be in my fur attacking people. I'm going to have to... I, I'm, I love her. <laughs> Love her. But she's going to have to go. She's going to come to me. I've been attacking people in my fur. Right in my head. Don't try to rob me from my fur either. I'm taking it once you're dead. <laughs> she's going to rob a zombie. I she need gonna, something to remember you by. She's going to rob a zombie. I need something to remember you by. <laughs> Just though y'all heard that. She's going to rob a zombie. I am. Once I... For a fur coat. Because that she not gonna need because it's gonna be a sun, it's gonna be a hundred degrees outside. How you know? Because all zombie apocalypse take time in the summertime. What? <laughs> 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 you can't laugh for shit. 
all of the zombie, all of the zombies, all of that. We gonna be outside in a crop top and a t shirt, and my nails gonna be. Oh, I hope my nails don't fall off as a zombie. Cause they be green and shit. Oh my god. Bitch, you think you fucking turning green? <laughs> you don't know. I'm be dead. I'm a dead person who's alive. Duh. I'm just saying science. I'm done. <laughs> anyway. Y'all so don't understand why you always get on topic. Whatever. Anyway, y'all got a problem with social media and y'all need to fix it and it's a serious problem, especially with our younger generation because y'all do some stupid shit. Yes. Some trends that's coming up while attacking teachers and shit. Bro! What y'all got going on on social media? It's a problem. Social media addiction is a problem because y'all really do shit for clout just to go I'm viral. Teacher, I'm hitting you back. Sorry. Bro, I will hate making y'all kids. You and are you a me. Bro, I'm a social worker. I'm not gonna lie. One kid kicked me one time and I had to walk away. Like, I had to really walk away because I am not a person, and she knows, I don't, I, I, I don't care your age. Bro, I don't care. I will, I will get down to your height and screw up with you. Like, I, the kid kicked me and I was just like, looking at the parent. Like, you're not gonna get your fucking How old was the kid? Bro, it was like seven. And it took everything in me not to kick them back. Because I wanted to get, like, I wanted to have a fucking tantrum. I'm like, you stupid. <laughs> but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I, but I said, you know, I, let me get let me get a second, please. I'm going to go over here. Because your kid just kicked me. And if I don't kick your kid or kick you, I'm going to just go over here. Y'all kids is bad. Y'all kids is bad as shit, bro. And I don't understand what's the problem. Y'all kids is bad as shit. <laughs> I know um, that. I, it wasn't the kid. It was an old lady, but I got slapped by someone. An old lady? Mm-hmm. Well, I slapped someone. the shit out. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you think we was outside? Outside of hitting your back? Ah, I'm not going to lie to you. You ain't my grandma. I'm going to slap shit out you. But that's something different. You know, I, um, you know we got to restrain ourselves. But, mm-hmm. but a lot of y'all... A lot of y'all people be trying it in, in, um, in these facilities and they be knowing what they're doing and they be attacking staff because they know they can get away with it. Mm-hmm. And it be a lot. I remember I told her daughter and she was like, oh yeah, she could be aggressive. And said, you're not going to talk to her? You got to keep my hands to herself? Mm-hmm. I need you to pretend to make an effort here. <laughs> That's what I need you to do. I walked out. I was like, because next time she said me and I'm going to I'm going to tell my grandmother. Like, yo, I'm quick to tell on you. <laughs> If somebody does to me, I'm going to tell on you. I would tell my grandmother. You I have you. a grandmother. Like, I would dead tell on you. You know what? Let me put my grandmother back. Because I don't have time to fight with you, miss. You in a nurse's home. No, they didn't even want you. Let me put my grandmother in her own house. She was there because you needed physical therapy. She they the physical her. therapy that happened in your house. I don't want to hear that. So, you my grandma who live in her own home. I'm going to call her to come out of her this. home. And she's going to beat your ass. And that's it. That's it. You lucky the more aggressive girl my dad because you would really be your ass. She used to walk around with bricks in her bag. So. What? Yo, she be ready to fuck something up. <laughs> the one that's still left is a sweetheart. She don't fight. But she don't fight for me. That's I have nothing to say. <laughs> she used to walk around with bricks in her bag. Bricks in her bag. And she'd be like, I'll hit the shit out of you. And I'd be like, mmm. That was crazy. <laughs> Just Medea just with bricks. Yo, Christian Medea. That's what exactly what she was. A Christian Medea. A Christian Medea. She, she cursed, cursed her out with the, Bible. the word of the Bible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is a different type of curse out yo. No, for real. That's a lot like, damn. Like she was like the I'm that like, bad of a, a person. Bougie Christian. Like she would tell you about a Bible verse and then at the same time, like she's basically telling you you are ghetto mess at all. Piece of feeling. <laughs> I get on my snail. I'm saying, mm, not me, not me. <laughs> but everybody who was in our neighborhood was definitely a hooligan, and I do apologize to y'all because she did not care. It was tell everybody about their kids. Yeah. <laughs> but RIP. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Lloyd. Mm. 
Mm. But back to them hey. social media trends real quick. We always off topic. This Girl. Never, it never stays. No, for real though. Because I think I was reading that in Florida, they have um, a huge teacher staffing shortage. And it's because a lot of teachers are getting attacked because of those social media trends. Like, go to school and slap your teacher day. Mm-hmm. Or steal something from your teacher or your school. And it's like, why are y'all doing this? It's them, it's them Gen Z people. Mm-hmm. We ain't do shit like that. I never thought to get in my teacher car and steal it. And like ride with it. Like I so never got in the teacher's car? Yes. And even Mel so showed me a video. Was it, it was the no, it was the police cruiser a, a, a teenager got into and tried to run off with it. And the, luckily the police officer was able to catch him. But the way he dragged him out, the mother told him about she wanted to sue the police department. Thank God they were gonna him. But um I said why are you going to sue the police department? You're he could have got in. more hurt if he had crashed that PT Cruiser mm-hmm. into something or someone. Mm-hmm. You worried about your son? Um, okay, so uh, you don't charge him, right? For right, stupid. Because that's all that's gonna happen. He stole a police car. They did. I, I'm not gonna lie. He just he deserved that. He did. You lucky what he did was trying to pull him out because he was still saving. Him. He pulled him out the window and he hurt his elbow or some shit. Don't get the hell out of here. He shouldn't have been in that car. Period. But because y'all kids want to do stuff that's viral for social media, what happened? There's so many other things you could do though. Why would you want to mess with the cops? Or a lot of y'all or say teachers. stupid shit for clout. Like y'all say some real dumb shit for clout. Like y'all dumb. Y'all really dumb. Nah, TikTok especially though. The things that people do to go viral on TikTok mm-hmm. is a bit much. Mm-hmm. It's it's bad. Not gonna lie. You see a whole bunch of and you just be like, what the fuck? That's what you think. What the fuck? Y'all say whatever or do whatever to be viral, mm-hmm. and that shit is like scary because it's like, are you telling me there's no end for y'all to be famous on social media? There's nothing you won't do. That's scary no. as hell. But those are the people who are who are addicted and they really want that type of fame. Because to them, it's like okay, it's easy, even mm-hmm. though it really isn't. Right. You got to get the right people looking at you. You got to put out the right content. It's not easy, and that's why they go stupid people. Right, know? but that's why they go on to do stupidness. Because mm-hmm. easy. Stupidness is entertaining. Mm-hmm. Like I can't lie. Sex and stupidness. Mm-hmm. Those things gonna pop off first, unfortunately. Yeah. And then you get that that weird ass mix of crowd. <laughs> like, oh, this is entertaining. And then it's like, whoa, this is not that damn entertaining. And other people are like, yeah, keep doing stupid shit. Mm-mm. If I can't be myself and I have to be dumb on social media to get somewhere, I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. Cause then it's like I've been faking this whole time. This ain't me. Yeah, and that's also why a lot of people are depressed. Unfortunately, a lot of people and some of y'all depression is real bad because y'all have no idea who y'all are. Mm-hmm. You have no real hobbies of your own. You have no idea what you even like. Do you even have a personality of your own? Because you're taking one every personality that you see on social media. Yeah. No. And then after a while, they start believing that it's really dumb. It's weird. Right. It's weird. That shit is crazy. Nah. I'm good. I like who I am. Yeah. I think I'm pretty dope. If y'all don't like it, then hey. Yeah, fuck you. I like it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me about it. Done. Oh, okay. Well, that's all for today. Yer. We gonna see y'all next time. Girl. Yeah, see your line, girl. Y'all know what it is. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment, share your thoughts. Thank you guys for rocking with us as always. Appreciate you. Later.